Banana, 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 well, first of all, it fails the survival horror game because it commits like the one thing survival horror games should never do. It makes you want the protagonist to die. Which is problematic because you can imagine the goal of the game is to survive the protagonist. That's good grammar right there, but you know what I mean. Like, first of all, when I was playing it, for a little, I only got past like 10 minutes into the game, and I'm just like, you know, fuck this. Because first of all, there's a part, like, in the early part, when you find some cardboard boxes, and she says something along the lines of, those boxes look heavy. And then I mentally started to giggle, because that seemed like what you would do after saying something as stupid as that. It's like, yeah, the boxes look heavy, and the zombies look angry. Move the damn boxes. <laughs> and then what? She, like, freaking went right before that, when you first get the gun, she wastes the entire clip of ammo on the stupid, like, lumbering Hulk thingies. Which is the one enemy type that I can kill without getting hit with the knife. So it's like the one time you didn't need to use the gun is the time she wastes all of the gun's ammo. It's just like, why? <laughs> Shakespeare. Especially, uh, I'll get to that in a second. But particularly what's annoying is the fact that I was playing normal mode, I think. Which is when you get like one bullet per six enemies. Whereas like normal mode, it's like, want some more ammo? Like, don't be left in the inventory. Well, it'll be here when you get back. And I'm like, what the... Whereas, like, normal mode's like, can I have a stick? Sure, but it won't be a weapon. Why not? Because we hate you. <laughs> and then, yeah, shortly after that, there's a puzzle in a bookstore where basically what you have to do is there's five Shakespeare anthologies, like King Lear, Othello, Romeo and Juliet, I think Hamlet, and one other one I forget. But the point is, I had read all of them except King Lear and Othello. Othello was easy enough to guess to mention black to white and white to black. I'm like, oh, the game Othello, shifty eyes, har har har. But still, heavy knowing all the information and getting the plot of King Lear from my father, I still couldn't figure out what the fuck we were supposed to do it in. You should not know the books and not be able to solve the riddle. <laughs> the inherent problem there is the way the riddle is worded, it was like, first off, eight pages for five books, so that was confusing enough. But they worded it like ambiguous, like all riddles are supposed to be. But the problem is all Shakespeare plays are basically the same thing. It's like a tale of love and betrayal and like two people get mixed up and like, yes, that's fucking Shakespeare. That's like all he does. It's like, okay guys, so what we're gonna do is I like this chick, but I don't want her to know that. So I'm gonna dress up as you, you can pretend to be me. Then we'll get her father involved. Somebody's gonna get killed by accident and they'll take their own life to repent. It's just carton. <laughs> they probably know that they're in a play because they're just crazy like that. And yeah, what else? This is, of course, what I actually have a screenshot of, because it was just so freaking ridiculous, is, and I quote, this is just a fire exit. It doesn't lead anywhere. But that's the worst fire exit ever. <laughs> but it does make me smile, because I imagine, like, somebody in a fire, opening up the fire escape, just seeing a brick wall at the sign that says, ha, sucks to be you. And if he signed Vincent, because he would do something like that, because he's awesome. Uh, and yeah. As I found out recently, apparently the sector where you go through a construction area, and they have like the plastic to keep the dust in the weather out, whatever it's for, and apparently that actually restricts your movement, because God forbid you go under a plastic flap, or cut it open or something. <laughs> Just, you no. Know. Exactly. It's like, I'd rather, <laughs> go, I'd rather go through that construction site that's probably infested with, you know, unmentionable, speakable horrors. Or get one around it, how big is it? Eh, it's basically like an apartment. Yeah, you can get around that in like 30 seconds. <laughs> exactly. And that's the whole reason why her dad is dead by the time she gets home. Yep. Now, if you got Kamen in, in, in a place, he'd be there before the game starts. Like, I know someone's going to do some shit, I'm staying home. <laughs> and then, of course, what? She doesn't seem to be dressed particularly well for a zombie apocalypse. I suppose it could be slightly forgiven because you didn't know it was coming, but still. She's like the puffy ass vest, the short like mini skirt, that can't be good for running.
Uh, let's see. Unless well, there's apparently some puzzle. We have to like get the coat hanger to pull down a ladder because apparently she can't jump two feet. Yeah, I know. Uh, like, what? An ultimate puzzle. Well, what you have to do is get the Shakespeare books, bring them back, use them as a step ladder to step up and reach the ladder. Nobody <laughs> would see that coming. Uh, let's see. Um. Oh yeah, I'm looking at some of the unlockable stuff. Let's see, uh... Oh yeah, this is pretty freaking annoying slash hilarious slash why. Um, the... Of course, you never know do this because you only played such a little amount, but... Because of fucking Shakespeare. <laughs> yes, fuck you, Shakespeare. Uh, that's because you started on hard mode. Yeah, because I figured, hey, hard mode will sound like fun. Because I'm an arrogant bastard like that. But see, they don't understand the difference between hard and arbitrarily difficult. But, uh, this is great. Complete the game on hard action and hard riddle mode to unlock extreme mode. And by beating the game on extreme mode, you get extreme 2 mode. By beating the game on extreme 2 mode, you get extreme 3 mode. By beating the game on extreme 4 mode, you get extreme 5 mode. Beating the game on extreme 5 mode, you get extreme 6 mode. Beating the game on extreme 6 mode gets you extreme 7 mode. Beating the game on extreme what? 7 mode gives you extreme 8 mode. Beating the game on extreme 8 mode gets you extreme 9 mode. And beating the grade on extreme 9 mode gets you extreme X mode. What? And then when you finally beat extreme X mode, you get the God of Thunder costume. I'm assuming it does absolutely nothing for the gameplay. <laughs> Actually, I have no fucking clue. Or, hey, here's a thing that makes that all completely fucking worthless. Um, once you complete the game once, and only once, you'll unlock extra costume and extra new game, which needs to be used to unlock... Uh, yeah, and basically it's you enter a password in a thing and you get stuff. Fun. And, I just uh, play Extreme X mode just to see what the Brittles are like in that one. <laughs> it'll be like, you'll just have like 64 buttons, one will open the door, the rest will kill you. That's their idea of hard, apparently, in terms of Brittles. <laughs> oh, yeah, I also love this. Let's an example to differentiate the two between hard and arbitrarily difficult. Hard is something we have to think about for like maybe 10 minutes or something, and you get it like, oh, right. Arbitrarily difficult is like four card Monty. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh yeah, the you know how they don't have a life bar? They just have that little status screen with the green to red. Yeah. Yeah. Beat the game on hard action and hard riddle mode to unlock a life bar. Huh. <laughs> and Which you don't need because you managed to beat the game on hard mode. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, this was. Uh, yeah, I thought so. Beam saber, cough lightsaber, cough. Kill more enemies by fighting than shooting. This weapon turns into the sexy beam when you transform costume. Wait, what? Exactly. You get a transformation costume. You get a sexy beam. Yep. Let's see. I, I have believe. To play this game. Why haven't you played it? Because of goddamn Shakespeare. <laughs> That is not good riddle design. Oh uh, yeah, flamethrower. That's what you got. Kill more enemies by shooting than fighting. You do not get this weapon on your first playthrough. You'll get it automatically on your second. So that means basically go for the beam saber first. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Infinite SMG ammo. Defeat the final boss with the melee weapon, which is kind of a bitch. Unless it's a beam saber, of course, then it's kind of easier. Yeah, I imagine. They play through it once, get the beam, they play through it again to unlock the machine gun, play through it again to unlock the flamethrower. <laughs>